Good morning. It's Tuesday, May the 5th, and you're watching Chinese Small Cap TV here every day exclusively on ChinaSecurities.com. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Chinese Small Cap TV is a daily, fast-paced, edgy show, bringing you the best press releases out of the Chinese small cap sector in the AM so that you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. I've got two great press releases for you this morning out of the Chinese small cap sector. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story is a company called China Energy Recovery. They trade on the bulletin board under the symbol CGYV. The company is announcing that they've completed a large order for three sets of waste heat recovery systems for a large nickel mine project, which is located in Papua New Guinea. The total contract value is approximately 4.85 million U.S. dollars, uh, and the corresponding revenue is to be recognized in the second quarter of 2009. A little bit about the company, they're a leader in designing, manufacturing, and installing waste heat energy recovery systems, which provide facilities with greater energy efficiency. Their primary focus is on the Chinese market. Companies last at $1.95, 52-week high of $12.90, low of $0.82, cents, and the market cap of approximately $58 million. Moving on to our next company, Wonder Auto Technology. They trade on the big board on the NASDAQ under the symbol WATG. The company is announcing their financial results for the first quarter of 2009. We've got some pretty great numbers coming out of the company. Sales revenues increased approximately 28% to $40 million. Gross profit increased 23% to $10 million. Net income increased 30% to $5.2 million. And the earnings per share was $0.19, cents, representing a 26% increase compared with the first quarter of 2008. As of March 31st, 2009, Wonder Auto had approximately $13.6 million in cash and cash equivalents. So very impressive numbers, very financially stable company, according to these reports. The business outlook, according to the company, for the second quarter of 2009, sales revenues are expected to be approximately $45 million, with a net income of approximately $5.3 million. A little bit about the company. They design, develop, manufacture, and sell automotive, electrical parts, suspension products, and engine accessories. The company is last at $6.94, 52-week high of $9.50, low of $2.03, and a market cap of approximately $187 million. That's a wrap for today's show. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Make sure to tune in again tomorrow. We've got more great press releases coming out of the Chinese small cap sector here every day exclusively on ChinaSecurities.com.